Good morning, guys. I look like a mess. Just woke up, sent Scotty up to his grandma and grandpa's house, and my eyes are super puffy. In fact, they're super itchy as well. I know this whole eye thing has been going on for so long. My eye irritation started March 26, and it's already the second week of May, and it's still there. I actually visited Dr. Steve yesterday just to kind of figure out what is going on with this eye thing. Um, and super timing because it started getting super itchy again since Sunday, which was Mother's Day. And I think it's because like I wore makeup on Sunday for the first time in like over a month, and I feel like it caused the irritation to come back or something. I don't know, we still have to figure it out. It's kind of freaking me out because to be honest, I've been using the steroid drops Dr. Steve gave me for like almost a month now or even a month already. And I researched last night and it said like prolonged use can cause blindness, which really freaks me out. I woke up, I feel like I need to do something. I need to think about something else in order to get the itch out of my brain. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I don't have to cook anymore. Let me show you because we already have a cook, yay! But I will prepare like a little bit part of our breakfast. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. So as you can see, the kitchen already has food and it's already set up. Wow, these are actually pancakes. Banana oatmeal pancakes, you guys already saw how I make these. Let me just turn off the fan so it's a little bit quieter. Oop. These are actually the new placemats that I got from Zalora. They are from H&M Home. And I find them really pretty. I only got two because they're like 400 bucks each. I only got two because only Slater and I have breakfast here anyways. I have stopped being super lazy. So we're inserting the milk frother. I mean, how hard is it really? Um, and so we're gonna make a nice latte macchiato this morning. Let's dig in. This looks really good. I also have my coffee. My gosh, I've been having coffee the lazy way for so long that when I actually tried to do it the right way, I was like, oh my God, like the difference is huge. Mm. It just tastes a lot more like coffee, like a refreshing cup of coffee that will boost you up in the morning as opposed to like the hot water that <laughs> I used to drink. Like it just tasted like hot water because I'd use a super mild bean and then I just wouldn't make the effort to make it really, really delicious. I mean, I we love coffee. Like my, my mom's side of the family, growing up, like coffee was always the smell of our house after every meal. Like sometimes some of my aunts and uncles, they even have coffee at night. And I just grew up with it. So coffee really plays a strong part in my diet. Yeah, really good coffee. It's worth it. Oh, it's so good, super, super good. Good morning. Is it yummy your food? Is it yummy? Sky Bear is waiting. Waiting for droppings. Waiting for droppings. Oh no, Scotty shared his food. <laughs> So Scotty and I are gonna go to my mom's house today. I'm gonna try to see if she will guest on this vlog with us. I have a pretty cool idea. I watched a video this morning and I'm like, hey, I wanna do that. I'm really hoping that she'll be game, but if she is, then we will be doing a little Q&A with her later. I think I'm gonna ask her questions that like I've never asked her before and I think that's gonna be really, really fun. Maybe when Scott's sleeping or maybe Scott can even join us. Let's see, but today is grandma's day. So Scott just came from his grandma young and later on he's going to his grandma way. So um, it's always grandma's day, that's his day out. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, like the only places Scott's ever been to are upstairs to my in-laws house, to my house, my old house I mean, and to the doctors, that's the only place he's been to. Um, but hopefully that's gonna change super soon, but yeah, 
we're lucky enough to be able to visit family. Look who's awake! <laughs> bah! <laughs> we're so used to playing with Scotty that every time <laughs> we see him, there's always a peekaboo peekaboo situation happening. Sai just had her treat, which is why she's so messy. I gave her like a whole duck. <laughs> it was a treat given to us by Koda and Co. Thank you so much. Sky loves it. She kind of freaks me out when I touch it though, because let me show you what it looks like. So this is where I keep Sky's things. You can see this is super cute. He has glasses. Super cute. That's for Sky. And this is the treat that they gave us. I think it's from them. I'm not sure. But it's quail. There you go. So hard to unbox it with one hand. But it's literally like half a piece of meat, which freaks the hell out of me. And she's already so excited because she thinks I'm gonna give her another one. You just had one! Let me read you. Oh no! It's very clean. 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 Mm. You hold your lotion, Kami. Wow. You, the lotion will make you balance. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. look. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. <gasps> Watch that. Yuck. What's that? Get mommy. Put on mommy's arms. You got scared. You know when you were small, they'd be up my head. Look. Why now you're always scared? Feed daddy the caterpillar. Ah. Uh... That's not food. <laughs> Scotty, drink. Oh, gong, gong, gong. Scotty, where's your tongue? Where's your tongue? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm sitting here with my mama. I'm so glad she agreed to do this soap, mom. Of course. Today, I'm going to be asking you questions that I've never asked you before. Oh no. <laughs> okay. And I listed them down on my phone here. The, a lot of the questions I think are going to be like, I think Maulo can answer. Really? <laughs> Yes. I'm out, I'm out, I'm no. out. <laughs> okay, first question, mom. As a kid, or not even as a kid, like when you were like a cool teen, teenager, teenager or yeah. college student, did you ever smoke or party? <gasps> yes, what? I did try smoking. You know, you have to try everything. Smoking, that's just a regular cigarette, not the marijuana type. Okay. Are you sure? And then, Are you serious? Yeah. Oh I my gosh, gosh but it, it was just one stick trying. It's a. I did get hooked to it because I don't like smoking. Wow. I hate it because it sticks to your hair, the smell, and your clothes, and you know your mommy very OC. Arti gapun. <laughs> what about like marijuana? Did you ever try? No. No. Alice. Drugs, nothing. Mm. No. Because like. I'm not sure, but I think like in the 70s, it's more like, like psychedelic. Yeah. What's uh, also in Cebu also? I want to know. It was, it was a bit, but no, no, no. Right? No? No. Because um, I don't have money, so I cannot go out partying. So I just stayed home. Oh, yeah. good girl. This mm, what about dad? dad? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know him yet. What do you mean? I don't know him. 70s? Ah, at that time. Early 70s, I don't know Johnny Uy. But do you know, like, do you know now if he's tried it in the past? No, I don't no, think so. No, Like, daddy's no. super yeah. strict and square, so yeah. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Have you ever snuck out of the house? Snuck out? No, I didn't, but I tried twice. I was not able to get home because the transportation was hard, so I slept over my Mercada's house. And the following day, I went home, and my dad got so mad at me. I was kind of punished, pa. Grounded. I was grounded. 
I remember when I was young, like super baby pa. Oh, let's meet your phone. When I was super baby pa, I remember na I went to Jason's house across the street from our house. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't ask permission, but literally he's our cousin, like my cousin's house. And then they invited us over, so we went. And mom and dad got so mad at me. How, you, er, how old were you then? Elementary, but I was with Ditsy. Like I was with... Like I don't know, I was just I joining. Don't remember that. Joining, yeah, it was uh, me and Ditsy. Uh. They invited us over, so we went across the street. Like I don't know, said why or Yayas didn't stop us. And then they got so mad. They grounded us, and then we had to write on a notebook. I will not go. Yeah. I will not, not go, go out with, oh, yes, without yes, yes. Ma- asking mom and dad until nahorot ang pages sa notebook. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that is why she turns out very good girl. Savage. I wonder if I'm gonna do that to Scott one day. <laughs> if he's naughty, you can do that. <laughs> it's not a harsh punishment, right? Kesa, I'll ask you to yes, and I'll ask you to kneel down on salt. Yeah, and hey, do like this. That's what with stone. That's hmm. what your parents did to you, right? My it... my uncle, my uncle. Whoa! Because <laughs> I was gonna ask you, mom. Like, is there something that, like you, the people who raised you, you were raised by your aunt and your uncle, right? It wasn't Goma. No, it was my parents who raised me. But when we moved to Cayenne de Oro, I stayed behind because I was stuck. I was already in high school. I had mm. to finish my high school here. And then it went on to college. So I never, after high school, I stayed on here in Cebu. And then after graduation, I got married right away. So, yeah. So, gipaluhod kag asin, college na. No, I was asked to luhod. I was still in grade school. Ah. Because we were very naughty, me, my three sisters, my two sisters and me, we kept on making fun on, on a sales girl we have. And then my uncle got so mad because we won't listen to him. So he said, no, no, no. And then we were crying so hard. <laughs> and then, no, that's in with Bible, right? You said Bi- Bible, but I forgot. You yeah, said and then we asked him, and then it was so heavy, and we were crying, crying, and then suddenly the sipon came out. <laughs> bubble of sipon. Bubble of sipon came out, and then we start laughing, and then my uncle got so mad again. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, like, is there something na gibuhat ni mo when you were younger nga? You you thought to yourself when you became a first time mom nga, I'm never gonna do this to my kid. Like, you know, how sometimes like for example. Let's say mom and dad never hit us or like punished us physically. So, but if they did, like that's something I would never do to Scott. I don't like harsh punishment. I just want to teach them a last lesson, so they won't do it again. And I remember my dad is not a family guy, so I really wanted to have a family time with my siblings and my parents. We go out on Sundays. Uh, go to church, watch movies, and uh, my dad is not keen on that. So when I got married, I see to it that I have to have time with my children. Wow, yes. I didn't know that. Yes. I never yeah. met mom's dad, my grandfather. Yes. Well, he, what, why? What did he want to do on Sundays? Mercada. Oh, he loves to go play golf. He loves to go ah, to, yeah. He loves like to do, cool. uh, he loves to do his own thing. Oh. Yeah. Mm. No wonder. But he's not a bad dad, huh? No wonder, uh, like mom always makes sure that every Sunday yes, is family day. Yes. Ooh, that's that's why it's very uh, precious for me. I treasure family day, Sunday very much. You know what I also learned from you, mom? Now, like spending meals together is super important. Yes. Because like Slater, his family, they don't really eat together. Like especially for breakfast, because they have their own schedules. Or sometimes for dinner, like let's say the brother is playing a game, like. Later na lang siya mag, mag the dinner. Uh. Pero with our family, it's like martial law that we have meals together. Yes. And I never really understood it. I didn't really mind it either. But parang, oh, okay, it's it's important to this family. And then now that I'm a mom myself, I'm like, oh, it really makes a difference. Yes. No? It's parang true. The yeah. closeness yeah, the that closeness, you have uh. with your family. Even if you don't talk, if you just eat together, it's the time you spend together, right? Yeah. Uh. And not just that, like, See, mommy, like when we were kids, she would always wake up super early in the morning, kahit gana siya kapagod the night before, para to prepare breakfast for us. Yes. Up to and this make day. make sure that they don't get, uh, they get to school on time. Meron naman kaming cook, meron naman kaming kasang bahay, but mommy always made sure nagising din siya. Yeah, and you remember? Of course, mom! <laughs> and like, 
she even up to this day, ha, like if I sleep over here, when I wake up, mom's in the kitchen already cooking for all of us, and not just for her kids, for her apos yes. also. I was about so, to say that. Yeah, so Gavin and Liam. <laughs> yeah. So for me, like I feel like I got that from you now. Yes. When oh, that's good. Yeah, yes, I yeah. wake up super early now, and the first thing I do is prepare breakfast, even though Slater doesn't eat. Mm. Right. I always make sure now when he wakes up, my food. Pero kung feeling niya pa he will not eat. Yeah, Masa parang feeling ko may meron. Uh, parang feeling ko, and he appreciates it. Yes. Kasi he feels na there's always someone taking care of him, uh, even though uh, he he's not asking for it. And I got that from mom. That's something mother always do. Yeah. Yes. I have a question for you. Like, why? I know this is all questions, but like, why when we were kids, there was always like Vicks everywhere oh. in the house? Because... My second daughter, Jackie, she she has this allergic reaction and every night she cannot sleep well. So I put Vicks here on her chest mm-hmm. and then it relieves her, her snoring and, and, and stuffy nose. And sometimes uh, because she kept on sneezing, it also re- relieves the headache she got from the cold. Mm. Yes. You know what I see right now? You know, also, I, you know why I asked you that question? Because guys, look. What's the <laughs> this is, we're actually in mom's room right now, and there's Vic. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. So mom's an Avino girl like me, but look, Rosary and Vix, the star of the show. Yeah. I just I just saw this while I was looking at you, Kanina, and I'm like, hey, this is the same thing that we have in my bedside. It's yes. there, it, and it, I got you it have from you. This one? Okay, I got it from you, mom. Grab it. Cause like this later. is really very effective, especially if you have cough when you were small. Yeah, I put this the back and front, and then I massage it, massage you, yeah. and then you were able to sleep. Yeah, yes. like parang it's just the smell, no? Like, ah, it's like aromatherapy yes. or something like that. Yes. Yeah, very. You know what you say? Dependable. Yeah. That, dependable. Like, if, oh, hey, it's Dad. Hi, Dad. We're vlogging. Mom's <laughs> my guest. Oh, that's like no wonder they're there. What are they doing? <laughs> but yeah, like I feel like a mom's love is so different. The small things, ba, that you did for us when we were growing up that you probably don't even remember. Oh, sorry, it's you. Probably don't even remember. Like for example, like waking up early. Parang in the in the you don't think about it as a sacrifice. Yes, yes. It's not the job. It's you do it out of love. You do it out of love, yeah. and now it's like it's not a chore for us. Na pasa na ko ba? Like this is a mix of three languages. Like na pasa na ko ang things that you do now that I'm a mom myself. And even like I'm having so this, glad. I'm so glad that you're Aww, getting mama, something from me. Of course. Mm. Like even where even mm. having Vicks on the bedside, like not just for myself. I use it sometimes when I have headaches, like if I have stuffy nose or whatever. Slater also, I apply it to him. You know, I buy a lot of this and I give to all our helpers. Toob. No, not toob. <laughs> I just give this to them. Yeah, but yeah. toob also. Slater is the one actually who taught me how to do it. Like, diba, mom, toob, we do like bas- uh, okay, basin, basin yeah, hot, hot water. water. Yeah, na, ah. You sagul mm. Oh my gosh. Mom, grab it. It really gives you relief. Super. I'll try that tonight. <laughs> try that tonight. You know something else that I got from you aside from Vicks? It's your kaartehan. Mm. It's really true. And now it's passing <laughs> on to my uh, three little apos. Everyone's smart yes. in this house. That's also something I learned because apparently, like other moms, frown upon it. Like they I don't, don't want. Yes. They don't want their kids to be maarte, but. Us, we were raised, like I remember when I was in high school. Wala na kills na kami, di ba? Kills, I avocado, them, ay, yes. whatever. Uh-huh. And I told them to always clean their face before they go to sleep. Yeah, always. And they have to moisturize even yeah. when they were teenagers. Even lotion, yes. like bata yes. pa lang kami, lotion every single day. Mm-hmm. That's why lotion is like a super big deal to me now. Yeah. Yes. See, mga kaartehan, it's okay to be maarte. And Kaya pala ako maarte. Ito pala. And also use soap, not just any kind of soap. Yeah, no. yes. Like, Trust ayaw me. ni mami yung soap na pag, pag... Alam mo yung ibang soap, when you when you wash your hands... It's very dry. You feel it feels very, very dry. Like, and your skin like, tight. I, 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 uh, yun, yun. Like, you yung iba, gusto nila yun. Skin. Kasi feeling yeah. nila, their skin is clean when you do that. Pero si mami, kailangan yung soap, moisturizing soap. Yes. As a first-time mom, like, when you... Okay, when you just had Ahia and Ati, eh. I have twins, right? Yeah. So moms, so my, my <laughs> eldest siblings, they're twins, boy and girl. Okay. So, w- like, because now I'm navigating this motherhood thing, this first time mom thing, and Scott has never been sick. Never, ever been sick. Good for, you. good for him, right? But how did it feel, like, when you were a first time mom and the first time Ati or Ahia got sick? Because, oh, 
It was so stressful and depressing because we just came home from the hospital and then Diane was about a week or two weeks old and suddenly she has colds and she can't breathe. So we have to go back to the hospital. Oh we check in the hospital uh, a week or two weeks after. And then I have to bring Roderick because the doctor said Kailangan two, the two of them has to be checked in because Why? they're twins. So? I don't, isa, I don't know. I don't know. That's what the doctor said. So it was so stressful. Imagine I was I had cesarean operation. You were 24? Yeah, I, I had cesarean. Don't mention my age, she can help it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I had cesarean you were operation. Recovering I was still recovering and the wound was so painful. I had my spinal hormones headache. Pa. I have hormones pa, imbalance and then I don't have my late lang yung breast milk ko. I have twins. I don't know what to do. It's right. just so hard for me. Good thing I have my mother-in-law who was uh, very kind. She took care of me and she cooked uh, Chinese herbs. Like get life yeah, food. Yeah, get life food. Right. To right. make me healthier. Yeah. Gosh, no, ang hirap no, noong panahon. Ang hirap. Mahirap. Yeah. But I'm very lucky because I was able to get two good uh, nannies for Diane and Roger. Oh, they had one each. They have one, one each, each. yeah. But yeah. so stressful Nanny's because I can't sleep because when I feed the yan and then she goes to sleep and I have to get the other baby and, and feed him. So so stressful. Because it's two. Like, wala talagang pahinga. Like even me, like when Scotty was super newborn baby, I had no sleep, so I can only imagine, imagine only what mom. one. I have two. Exactly. <laughs> and no milk. Yeah. You know what? Like speaking of nannies, nannies to me are a godsend. Like especially when you get good nannies. Like for example, Scott's nannies now. I'm so thankful for them because they yes. really love yes. and care for our baby and our family, de ba? But what I notice about mom is, kahit na may nannies siya, Stress pa rin siya, madami pa rin siyang ginagawa around the house. And I get that the same from her. I don't think it's a good, it's a good trait because you get to be very stressed and you don't have time for yourself no, anymore. No, you know what? I feel like it's because mom's super empathetic. It's true, it's true. The reason why yes, she yes, can't yes, let go, yes. may kusinera kami, may uh, cook kami. And then, Pero si mommy, siya pa rin nagluluto, siya pa rin nagpa-meal plan. So parang naging assistant na lang yung cook. Tapos while everyone's eating, late siya makapasok sa room because she's helping pa clean up. And then after she eats, hindi siya makatambay with us kasi naglilinis siya ng pinggan, ng plates. Why? Because mommy feels bad na mag-isa lang yung cook yes, namin sa kitchen. Yes, diba? that's true. I got that from you. Good. Because sometimes later keeps telling me now na, no, 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 no. They just always like, why are you so stressed? Let go, let go. But yeah. I'm always like thinking, they have too much to clean. I need to help them. Yes, or, that's like, me, that's me. But you know what? Yeah. You, you have to let it go. Exactly. Don't I know. Bring Stater it. always tells me. <laughs> yeah, like example, Scott has two nannies, right? Magbubuhay naman si Scott kahit wala ako eh. No, 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 no. You have to be there, present, physically. Even and, if yeah, but nice. parang every second that Scott's away, I have to be there. Oh, sabi ni Slater, na affected na nga yung my work because I can only work when Scott's sleeping. So 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. lang ako makaka-work. A few nights ago, he told me, nakalimutan mo na ba may asawa ka? Oh, <laughs> that's very bad. Yeah, kasi sometimes Don't forget Slater. Yeah, no, yeah. kasi sometimes you you put your mom hat on, uh. and then when Scott is sleeping, parang ang hirap magkambio to wife Slater, mode. you know what you do? <laughs> the hat. To take it out, put it on the side, and then hug Crystal. And then she <laughs> no, will be all yours. He's super nice. He's super understanding. <laughs> After 6 o'clock, you have to let go. I know. Uh, I'm slowly, slowly. Yeah. Like, see, now Scott's sleeping uh, without me. See? Yeah. Oh, yan. <laughs> You're sleep training him naman, yeah. ba? Oh, so, that's very good. Yeah. You can let go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, with him. Okay, I'm very so, good. Yeah, yeah. We have very good uh, guys. When you first got married to dad, you were very young. Yes. Like twenty, like fresh out of college. Yes. Kasal na sila. Yeah. So how did that? Like, how did you feel? Were you? Did you feel you were mature enough to transition to this new role as a wife? At that time, most of we are twelve in our barcadas in high school and then college also, and most of us got married at the same age. I mean, a year apart, months apart. So I think it was at that time, it was very normal at a at very young age, if your boyfriend says, propose to you, marry kagad. Para kasi ngayon, there's Can so I say many... in Chinese? Yeah. Gong gong ki ba? Kanang, it's like, just, you just go with the flow. You're like, just like, you're in, ignorant ba? You don't know anything. Ignorance is bliss. Yes. Ignorance like is that. bliss. And then you go with the flow ba? You, you just... 
become what me? Right. Oh, that's we so don't nice have money. Though. We don't have savings. We don't have anything. We just got out of college one year after. We we're married now. So, but you lived with dad's family. Yes. So, then, uh, I, I was working now, in a no? bank and then my my mom-in-law asked me to help the store. But no regrets. You see, I have four kids, beautiful kids. I have eight grandchildren. And I'm young. So young. I I can travel. <laughs> I can enjoy my life. Kaya na madami na siyang pera. Maka-travel na siya. <laughs> now, how about like when you and dad were married, like you had to move to wife role and then when you had Ati and Ahia, mm-hmm. was it hard to balance being a wife and being a mom? Because that's something I'm struggling with now. I'm not struggling with it, but you know, something I'm going through. I'm not like you, Siguro. Why, why, why? I, 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 I go to work Uh, diba, I work in the store, so I have to be away from the kids. Ah, and then when I come home, I play with the kids. And when they sleep, all of you slept in my room, right? So I don't feel any... Uh, I think now, because of the internet, mm-hmm. it's so I grab it's the mom work, guilt. It's your work. The difference between us is it's your work. And my work is... It's away. A, away from... And it's up after 7 o'clock, wala na. I'm done mm. na. So it's family time. Right, family right. time, husband time. Me, know. like the lines are blurred, right? What really is time for work and time for family? Like it's all mushed together. And and I live with my in-law, so when I come home, food is ready. Right. Yes. Right. I don't have to worry about what to cook, what to ah. Was I an accident or a planned child? And don't lie because I know the answer. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You were not an accident. You, I was. Really? You didn't plan me, you said. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't plan anyone, right? I didn't plan anyone because I, I had a hard time conceiving. I got married and I gave birth three years after. Right. Was it three years after? Yeah. And then it was because I went to see a doctor who took care of me. So finally I got pregnant. And then after Diane and Roderick, we did not plan anything. Parang three years after I got pregnant again. And then three years mm-hmm. after it was you. It was not an accident. I w- I'm an accident. No, it was I didn't not. Plan because me to happen. I wanted another boy. So I, wanted I really want another, wanted another child. Another child. Yeah. I wanted ako gusto niya boy. Ka, hindi. But look at her. Oh. <laughs> the pinaka ganda. arte sa lahat. Arte. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because mom, they always told me the story growing up. Like, oh, mommy and daddy wanted you to be a boy. Siyempre, yung mga siblings mo always tease you. Again. So, dapat Christian yung name mo. Is that Hindi, true? Tami. Kasi, pinaano ko siya ni Tambrus. Yung dapat lihi, Tami. Yung pinalihi lihi, ko pinalihi. siya ni Tambrus. <laughs> oh my gosh. But they always made fun of me. And saka, nagmana ako sa daddy ko. ba? Diba? When I was young, I really looked like dad. So, parang everyone said I looked like a boy or I should have been a boy. Parang that was always in my head. So, ayun yung result. Sobrang arte. But Binawi ko. You know, Matt Crystal. <laughs> ever since she was three years old, I already noticed that ma arte talaga siya. Every time we go out, she wears rubber shoes. But puti yung rubber shoes na. And then every time it gets soiled or dirty, wipe. she has to stop and wipe it with the tissue. We go to kanang Studio ba? Yeah, studio pick. Studio pick. So we we go there. We wear one clothes lang. Then we go as we come as what we come have. Come as we are. Uh, like, come whatever. as we are. See ya. She has to bring extra bag. She has to bring extra clothes. And she has to bring e- extra clip. Yeah, outfit yeah. change. At what? Six years old, de ba? Grabe. Yeah, Pero man. saan ako nagmana? <laughs> <laughs> I got it from my mama. <laughs> What was your first impression of Slater? <laughs> Slater. Don't lie! Don't lie! Ah. First impression naman, it didn't ah, last naman. First impression of Slater, I was a little Hesitant. apprehensive of Slater kasi he's older, he is uh, artista, guapo siya, baka maraming girls pa. Mm. So, I was a little apprehensive. It's not hesitant, but may fear ba? Baka he will hurt Crystal. No? Yeah, you but, know, ako rin yeah. naman. I didn't uh, like him. He I will hurt like... her. He will make uh, make her heart broken. And I don't want that for my girls. And you then, know. and then. But how, and then how I realized, I rea- no, he's really, when I get to know him, he's really nice. He's a gentleman and very soft-spoken, intellectual. He's whipped. He's whipped, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. sweet. He's whipped. I whipped him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that. I'm very <laughs> nice to him. Yeah. You asked later. Very yeah. nice to him. Yeah. I treat him so as my really own nice. son. Yes. Yeah. He's very But nice. But we had the same impression of him. Like, oh. Mm, chick boy, man. Eh. 
Nana ni. Seriously. No, not chick boy, but maybe but my my fear was Dili he's genuine, right? Like dua dua lang for him. Yes, he's not serious, but because pogi siya, so maybe many girls, lots of girls will, I know, make. So ibig sabihin, him. So yung I'm mga scared. past boyfriends ko hindi pala pogi kasi wala siyang fear. Yung past boyfriend mo, joke lang, wala na wala na. When you was small pa, oh, we were friends naman. So, I'm joking mo. <laughs> okay, okay, this video is getting super long. Um, last, last. What are your like if you could give me like the most important advice that you pass on to me as a new mama? Aside from having Vicks in my bedside, mom. Yes. What? You should have Vicks on your bedside. Yeah. Vicks and lotion. Right, right, right. <laughs> Aside from that, I know. Uh, you should uh, love your children unconditionally. Love them to the max. And remember that parenthood or motherhood never stop. It's always ongoing. Yes, forever and ever. You will never stop worrying about your kids. Right. Even if they're old, na, even if they're... 50 years old, 60 years old, and you're 90 na, and you're 80 na, you will still feel Yung heart mo, na. nasa labas pa rin. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, 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 as a mother, you should do that. And as a wife, you should always have time for your husband. Yeah, sige na nga. Yeah. Napabayaan ko siya. <laughs> you should have time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh my gosh. Ma, okay, last. Okay, I'm just genuinely curious. Like, I know this is, I said it would be the last. This is the last. Like, Scotty now, he's a little ball of sunshine. He makes everybody happy because he's so lovable. Yes, he's so adorable. <laughs> he's so adorable. But I know that kids will not always be adorable. And I know there are instances when they become so annoying. Like, when we were growing up, like, annoying feeling namin, alam namin, lahat mga may mga boyfriend boyfriend dito may mga you know what like what's your advice for that how do you deal with that like uh, don't spank them talk to them talk to them and then until they become deaf <laughs> <laughs> but so just talk to them keep on telling them maybe in for in the form of stories in the form of whatever song and just like make me make them realize that what they're doing is right what they're doing is not right give them advice I love my diba? mama if they don't if they won't listen if he won't listen just keep quiet and then tomorrow try again. or the following day try again yeah and then, okay uh, and then you can always kanang make kanang oe ba Paray-paray, pahilak-hilak, pahurt hurt. You know what I, you know what I'm gonna hurt do? Bang. You know what I'm gonna <laughs> do? Sa anak ba? You know what I'm gonna do? When he's sleeping, I'm going to braid <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Scott, be a good boy, be ha? Be a good boy. Remember, mommy is always number one, ha? ha? <laughs> Scott, be why uyab-uyab, ha? Why no, uyab-uyab. I said uyab-uyab. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to my mama for being here and joining us. I had so much fun. Like, it's super nice to get to know like these parts about even your past. Like, yes. oh, my mom used to smoke. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's not weird. All of my friends <laughs> tried Naga, smoking. Yeah. One stick lang good. It's not smoking, diba? Mm. Try, try everything. Try yes. everything. No, no marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.